What's going on guys? Welcome back to a new video. I'm in Genoa with my friends Alessandro and Nicolò and we are going to shoot some film photography here in the Ligurian uh, coastline and I hope you enjoy. Siamo nel Lucid Dream Studio e mi quadra anche lì. Studio creativo dove in questi giorni sarà il nostro un po' casa base dove Francesco starà. Lucid Dream Studio, located in Genova, Italy, the coastline. Uh, of the northern Italy, such a beautiful place. We do a little translation for our friend from all over the world. We are Italians, you know. Pizza, pasta and mandolino, but also... And focaccia. And focaccia here in, uh, in Genoa. The focaccia is like bread with oil and it's very, very good. So we are in a Lucid Dream studio. My friend Nicolò here is the owner. And we are going to dive in a photography long, long weekend, so... Sponsor per Save Age America, we are co-founding this beautiful zine about... American cliches. American cliches, and it's such a joy to be able to read this one. It's like a model card, or just pictures from the countryside. But are, are not only pictures. Not only pictures. There are uh, some texts uh, and text. uh, graphics uh, that uh, make this project uh, more uh, beautiful, I think. Yeah. The zine will come out soon, so stay updated, keep an eye to my social channels. Dimmi la verità so, da questo punto di vista. Comunque vi faccio vedere un poco Genova. Quindi Alessandro, dove siamo che siamo qui? Qua siamo, questa qua è via Berghini, una delle vie più lunghe di Genova, se non la più lunga, non vorrei di dire. Di Genova o del mondo? Eh, di Genova, di Genova. Più lunga della Route 66, dai. Eh, sì, probabile, perché poi continuerà dove andremo a piedi. Se vogliamo proprio essere pignoli, Google Maps te la dà così, anche se poi diventa qua asfaltata, poi diventa sterrato, però è una delle vie più lunghe di Genova. Okay. Se... Se, 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 allora, io sono, sono un, bi un bigotto dal punto di vista alimentare. tutta e poi da lì tutto sulla cresta che ci vediamo questo con il giallume di questa foschia che diventerà proprio giallo fluo pennarello uniposta ti ricorda un giallo particolare che abbiamo visto a palermo della tenda sgualcita della tenda sgualcita <ride> ragazzi <ride>
volte che dico che San Fruttoso è la meglio del mondo, ma fai vedere a tutti perché, cioè, a parte la storia che abbiamo dietro di noi, abbiamo anche questa, a Genova non ce n'è, a Genova non ce n'è mai. The feeling we experience towards light as photographers is a true love. It fills our negatives and gives us emotions never felt before. We are photographers, artists of an era that's too fast-paced, and we try to slow down all processes to fully enjoy every single moment. scendendo non le facciamo, c'è pure il flash, c'è pure la brioche. <ride> What's going on, my friends on my YouTube channel? Today we are in Lucid Dream Studio, the photographical studio, artistic vibe and creep by Nicolò Rinaldi. I'm very excited to be here today and sharing this beautiful space with uh, Nicolò. Today we are heading to Cinque Terre in uh, Liguria, his main uh, region, and I'm so excited to discover this amazing place and, of course, taking pictures. Nicolò, if you want to say something to my channel, Please. Uh, for the first thing, Francesco, are you ready to shot uh, two or three rolls in the wonderful Cinque Terre? Absolutely, I am. Yeah, absolutely. What's your idea for today? What, what, what do you want to shot today? Today I want to shot classical uh, Italian uh, landscape culture. So all, all the things you see usually on uh, magazines or just on Instagram feed. Uh, Italian Riviera. Italian Riviera, it's a classical. I sh we shoot with my, <laughs> with my Leica M6 with Cinestil 800T, which do one or two stops with an 85B filter. We are hoping that the light uh, is uh, from our side today. Of course. My um, focus mm. right now for the photos uh, are not uh, for beautiful things. So yesterday I didn't shot uh, one photo uh, of the sunset, but uh, I focused uh, of, on the anthropogenic uh, structure in the natural. That's so, so cool, that's so cool, right. Yeah. Yesterday I made uh, no shot to the sunset, but uh, something strange yeah, happened. Yeah, there was not too much Anthropocene scenes on a cliff where you saw in the video we were uh, taking pictures and enjoyed the, the beautiful bloom of the sunset in uh, Genova, because we are in Genova. So Nick, I hope you find your way today in Genova and Cinque Terre. Thank you for hosting me, thank you for giving it's me a pleasure. The, the possibility to stay here in this beautiful studio and share with you those beautiful but moments. But now, my friend Francesco, it's we It's time to go. My... In Italy we say it's time to go, this is the handle, okay? <laughs> <laughs> Però dico, non sono per i posti turistici e odio il posto in cui vivo. Questo è il posto turistico del posto in cui vivo. Odio questo posto. <laughs> Too often we get swept up in the daily rush, forgetting to savor the moments, to enjoy the small joys that life offers us. Italian slow living reminds us that life isn't just a series of tasks to complete, 
but an opportunity to connect with ourselves, with others, and with the world around us. Grateful for my friends because they are bringing me all over very great places. So thanks Nick, thanks Alessandro, thanks uh, Luca. And we are going to the Fiascherino Bay. Fiascherino Bay to snap some uh, picture at uh, sunset. So we have been very, very busy shooting landscapes on this Riviera, that's the name of the shoreline in, uh, uh, in Liguria region. And I, say, I can say pretty much it's very fine, very beautiful. We, we've been to Cinque Terre, five lands in English, five, la five lands, Cinque Terre. Uh, it was awesome because there were no tourists and you were like on your own, but as a local, like these two, maybe they don't understand much the hype that people have coming from the other side of the world because they're not used to. Uh, you as locals uh, don't feel like the overripe experience of Cinque Terre or just uh, tour tourist spots all over the area. But I think everyone that lives always that is born and raised in the same town or in the same area, uh, I think has the same effect. What do you think about these uh, little, uh, little uh, suburbs near the sea here in uh, Liguria or uh, like Amalfi? Or, uh, well, whatever? this is pretty much the Italian uh, kind of... If you're not from Italy, of Yeah, if you're not from Italy, this is uh, most of the time the Italy you want to visit uh, when you think about traveling. In Italy, it's pretty much the standard. If you think about Italy, you see Cinque Terre or Amalfi Coast, uh, but it's not that pretty much 100% of the time. You have a lot of shades, like in Liguria, you have a lot of things to see. It's not just uh, Cinque Terre, of course. I enjoy it, being Italian, to be honest. I like it, but probably won't make another trip soon, if not. Uh, it's like a, a, a check mark on things to do in your life. Tomorrow for another round of shooting film in coastal Liguria. See you next time. Bye bye. Salutate. Bye bye. Ciao riga. <laughs>
ha lo stesso colore della, della tanica che è messa molto lontano però con un 28 mm molto larga come la comporresti quindi? allora qua c'è la tanica qua sotto vedete c'è poi un po' più giù okay. c'è la segatura It's time to wrap up the video and thank you for watching. We tried to document a long weekend of photography that everyone deserves, along with friends and our camera. We will continue to seek the light and so will you until the next video.